Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Rebecca Red, And in this episode, I'm a guest of Kyle and Terry Pulaski of Brace Lake Outfitters near Nikina, Ontario. I'm fishing for walleye and big northern pike. It's gonna be a great show. I'm gonna teach you some techniques and tips that can help land your next big northern pike. Stay with us. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Scientific Anglers. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. In order to be successful at pike fishing, you must first understand the characteristics of pike and how they feed. Pike identify an approaching prey with its excellent sense of sight and smell. This is combined with the lateral line and the receptor pores in its head. With these senses, the pike can determine the direction and speed of its approaching prey. Pike primarily feed by ambushing their prey, and only when the unwary bait enters into the field of attack will it lunge forward at lightning speed. These fish rarely miss their target. However, if the attack proves unsuccessful, the pike will seldom pursue its prey. It will simply return to its post and wait for another opportunity. Just doing a simple strip set. Didn't really expect that to come in. And got another pike. But God, you know, these guys are like such good fighters. No matter what size they are, they still give you one heck of a good game on. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> I always love seeing those eyeballs come out of the water. Good stuff. Good job. Very, very nice. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> Just a nice little fish. Yeah, it was great. Beautiful. <gasps> yes. I love it. Let's go get some more. Bryce Lake is located in Ontario's beautiful North Country on the Albany watershed and is just under a 50 mile flight out of the town of Nikina. Bryce Lake is renowned for its numerous islands and bays that provide ideal structure for walleye, perch, and monster pike. Some refer to the lake as the Gator Factory. The lodge has four cabins that are equipped with 24-hour electricity, hot and cold water, showers, toilets, all the comforts of home, with world-class fishing out the front door. Also, very stable, safe cedar strip boats are provided. Guests in 2011 caught and released almost 240-inch plus pike for the summer. This year is only half over and with over 100 pike boated. Joining me today is Kyle Pulaski, owner of Brace Lake Outfitters. Kyle has a solid commitment to make sure all the details of your trip are taken care of and that you have a great fishing trip to remember. Yeah, let's see what you look like. There, girl. Wow. Okay, I set the drag pretty heavy on this. It's a good fish. So if this fish can pull on this drag, and it's just kind of setting that hook a little better Very every time fish. it pulls. 
Okay. Holy. <laughs> oh, I hope I get this into the net. I really hope so. That is beautiful. I think it's ready, Kyle? Swing them by. We'll see if we can get them in. Okay. Let's keep it. No, not ready. Very close. No, oh, he's got some attitude, though. It's the one up. Right. She is ready to go. Kyle, 40 inch female. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> beautiful. Job. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Brace Lake, right here. Thank you, Kyle. You're very welcome. Unbelievable. Let's catch another one. All right, sounds good. What I have found, the ticket, the number one fly, the perch. Perch pattern's been working. Yeah, all right. All right, let's go let's get, get another back one. To it. Yeah, let's do it. When trying to locate pike, you must think structure. The structure may be an underwater hump, an edge of a weed line, a fallen tree, an isolated rock, or anything man-made such as a dock. Today we found active fish in the weeds that were adjacent to deep water. When the temperature is warm, pike will hold up in deep water and only venture into the shallow water structures to feed in the mornings and evenings when the temperatures are cooler. Uh, to book a cabin, we recommend you book in, as far in advance as possible. Uh, it's 2013 right now, and we're already accepting bookings for the 2014 season. Brace Lake is a cold water lake located in northern Ontario, where the fishery is a solid, established fishery that all year round the fish bite. You just change the locations and how you fish them. Our fishery has monster northern pike, walleyes, and jumbo perch. Like, I mean, like, savage Jurassic beast. Oh, wow. Whew. Man, I don't know how really big it is, but it looked big when it jumped out of the water. It's cradle worthy. Cradle worthy. Not as big as the other one, but I'll tell you, I will take it. Oh, there we go. Under the boat. This fish. It's a very clever fish. I think it's decided to put me through a couple of boulders down there, or rocks, and snag me really well. There we go. No, I think I got a little bit left there. Whatever you got, it come up. With the fish. And we've got the fish still. Good job. And the hook is out. That. It's a very unique catch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the hook come out easy. easy. Well, another, like this is just another decent another fish. Another typical fish here. Watch the thing, he is 30. Bring him. Must be a male, because he is, believe it or not, right on 39. Wow. Very, very Almost nice. 119. Just a couple perch shy. So look at the teeth on these fish. Yeah, he's definitely nice, but we'll get him back into the water. Another successful release. Sir, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Congratulations. That's another one. Two in like 20 minutes. <laughs> this is after a storm, so it's been unbelievable fishing since we had that uh, hot weather move through with a big storm. And we got cooler temps. Fishing is on. Let's go get another one, Kyle. Let's go do it. When coming to Brace Lake, the pike are huge and prefer large offerings, so the flies we recommend are large perch patterns, large chartreuse streamers, and red and white bunny leeches. If you come early in the season and the pike are in the shallow, don't forget to bring your red and white poppers. I'm gonna give you a quick little tip about uh, setting the hook on pike. Now, if you've never fly fished for pike before, 
and you're a trout fisherman or bass fisherman, your automatic instinct is to raise the rod tip to set the hook. Don't do that for pike. I'm gonna show you a very quick and simple technique. And when a pike takes your fly, strip set. Very quick, very simple. Don't lift your rod tip. All you do is pull back. You see how easy that was? There's two things to remember why you're doing a strip set. Pike have a very hard mouth and you also are dealing with a very large hook. So the hook doesn't go in as easy like a tiny little trout hook and you have a very bony mouth. So those are two things to remember when you're doing a strip set. And you also don't have the resistance of the line in the water by lifting up. You have straight impact. You should remember that for the next time that you're pike fishing. <laughs> I literally just changed flies. Changed up the color, changed the size. Oh man, does that ever make a difference? He's not, he's not a monster, but he sure can fight. Bring you right, right to you, Kyle. <clears throat> right in the corner again. Just gonna use the spreaders. Handiest thing for pike. They do tend to take that fly in pretty deep. Perfect. Nice. Another great one. Perfect. I can't believe how well. Changing up the fly when, it's, when you're, you're not getting a lot of action on one fly, switch it up. I've got a much bigger fly on now. Different color, orange color. They're a lot of action all instantly. Let's get another one. So one of the things that I never forget when I go on a fishing trip is a polarized lens. You really can't go wrong by purchasing one of these for your lens on your camera. What it does, it removes the glare out of your photographs, enriches the colors of your fish, and an added bonus when taking landscape shots, it deepens the blue in the sky. Really an excellent investment in your next camera equipment purchase. Polarizer lens. It's a good, I think it's a good fish. These little ones can really fight, but this one seems to be keeping my rod bent well. Walla. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> I, good walleye. I love walleye. Have I said that already? Probably. <laughs> okay. Okay. Another awesome walleye. You have one heck of a fishery here for walleye, Kyle. It's unbelievable. Now that I got that out of the way, let's get some pike. When casting for pike, always finish off stripping in with a figure eight. This is the same technique musky fishermen do. Pike are generally the highest predator on the lake and have no fear of almost anything including boats. Many large fish are taken right at the side of the boat. Beautiful. That is a nice fish. Okay. Kyle, <laughs> I think we got, after a lot of effort of casting to this fish, I think this is my fish. Oh, it's great. Woo! 
absolutely awesome. Oh my gosh. This fish, they fight so well. Full of energy. Not too often I actually see pike porpoise and jump right out of the water like that. So when their head comes up, a lot of times that means that they, they're they uh, tired in a way. So I'm gonna try and bring it to the cradle. Sometimes when they see the net, they do take off again. So we'll see. See if this one's ready. Perfect. Incredible. Kyle, I can't thank you enough for letting us come out here to Brace Lake. These are incredible pike fishing at its very best here in Northern Ontario. Nikina, can't, can't top this, really. Fish after fish, pike after pike. Let's get back in the water. Recommendation for equipment to bring with you to Brace Lake would be a stout action 9 foot 8 weight rod to a 9 foot 10 weight rod with matching large arbor reels with smooth drags. The rods need to be stout for the very large pike you will encounter here, along with casting weighted systems and large flies. Smooth drag systems are necessary to handle the long runs these large pike will take during the fight. If you only wish to target the very plentiful walleye, a 9 foot, 6 weight rod and reel will be heavy enough. Line recommendations would be a floating line for shallow water pike using poppers, a sinking tip line and a full sinking line for when the fish are in deeper water. A must have is nautable wire bite tippet. Use at least 10 inches of it to ensure you do not have a fish bite off. Now don't be too sad or upset when you do lose a fish on a strip strike. A lot of times what will happen with a big fly and they've got a lot of uh, your feathering that is quite long in the tail, um, they will bite at the tail part, but they won't be on the hook. So don't feel too bad. If they really want it, they'll take it. Wow. This is a super, super strong fish. Oh my gosh. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh. Very good fish. That anchor's coming in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Hmm. That is incredible. <laughs> well, as you can see, these fish have a lot of stamina. So this is, again, the cold water lake. Hard fighting fish. It may be August, but these fish still have a lot of fight. It's just like it's springtime. Okay, I am gonna try, bring her, nope, still wants to go. <laughs> and this is why I love pike fishing. Especially here at Brace Lake. Man, oh man, this has been amazing. Okay. One turn. Here we go. Beautiful. Awesome. That was perfect. Kyle, another one to the boat. All these uh, shallow areas, looks like we're fishing in the middle of the lake, but we're actually uh, fishing these beautiful reef areas. Yeah. Uh, your fishery is amazing. Race lake. Deep you, water structure. You can't go wrong. Beautiful northern pike. That was my third cast to that area. And bam, just took it. Uh, you know you're into a good fish when they take your line out instantly. And you can't pick this rod up. It's an eight weight rod. Oh my goodness. What a beast. Oof. 
I'm holding my breath here, Kyle. Oh, just let them play them out. We'll get yep. them in. Yep. Hello. Okay. I'm gonna try. Just let here. them come. Okay. He doesn't like the neck. I'm getting a workout here. That's why you have a fighting butt on these rods. So you can kind of lean it into you and you can kind of pump the fish up when they're ready. So when their head is pointed down, typically means that they still have some good, good amount of energy and good fight left in them. So you just want to wait until they peek their head up out of the water and you can kind of guide them to the net. Most of the time you can get them to the net probably on the second or third try. These are hard fighting fish. Don't they just look like a big crocodile or an big alligator? Gator. Oh, I can't grab it. Oh, I can't even lift it. <laughs> and he's in. Congratulations, Rebecca. That is a beauty. That, I'm right now, I'm the happiest girl on earth. I just <laughs> Wow. That would probably be one of, could be my personal best. <laughs> Kyle? Thank you so much for an unbelievable and unforgettable experience. From all of us here at the New Fly Fisher, I hope you enjoyed this show. For more information, visit our website. Until next time, tight lines, big fish. <laughs> the New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Scientific Anglers. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the New Fly Fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook. <laughs>